Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna talk today about how if I was lit alive, if I was alive in 1960 and I was old enough to vote during that time, I would have voted for President John F. Kennedy over President Nixon. Let me explain why, okay? Um, I thought both of the men were morally horrible. They both had horrible moral issues, okay? Um, probably Kennedy was worse than Nixon in that era. And in that area, I should say. But Nixon was really bad too. But here, here's why. I, I would have voted for JFK, all right? Um, he highly supported the creation of the Navy SEALs in 1962. He was elected in 1960. The Navy SEALs have been vital for the defense of the United States of America. And um, as we know, SEAL Team 6 killed Osama bin Laden. I mean, that, that is huge and vital. Um, as best as he could, he handled the Cuban Missile Crisis well. Um, he handled the Bay of Pigs horribly, and he basically lied to the Cuban exiles. Um, but as far as the Cuban Missile Crisis goes... He did what he could to have to get the missiles out of Cuba without risking World War III when he negotiated with Nikita Khrushchev, the premier of uh, the Soviet Union at the time. Um, and then also, number three, economically, he was a pretty good president, talking about JFK. He actually uh, signed into law and introduced the one of the largest tax cuts in American history. Um, he cut taxes and the economy increased, and he faced a lot of opposition from his party um, doing that. So I have to give JFK credit on that. I would have voted for him. Um, now, as far as the morality goes, no. He had a lot of affairs with a lot of women, Marilyn Monroe being one of them. He swam with two girls that weren't his wife. One, that one had the nickname Fiddle, one had the nickname Faddle. Um, that did go on. Um, and his wife had plenty of extramarital affairs, too. Um, that also went on. So, um, now, he, uh, John F. Kennedy did do heroic things in World War II. He commanded a PT boat. Um, he blew up a Japanese destroyer. After his PT boat got ran over by a Japanese destroyer, he blew up the destroyer and won several medals. He commanded PT-109, and that was, um, that was a heroic thing to do. And I got to give him credit on that. Um, but also, as far as the morality goes, I mean, you can't, can't control what his father did, but Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. Um, sold booze, sold alcohol during Prohibition. I was against Prohibition. Um, thought it was a, the 18th Amendment, which enacted Prohibition, was the stupidest amendment out there. But nevertheless, it was illegal at the time. And um, John F. I mean, sorry, Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. sold booze during Prohibition. Um, he also, Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. also knowingly bought stocks that were tied to. Um, that with to companies that were tied to Nazi Germany. And when he was appointed by FDR as ambassador to England, um, he basically appeased Nazi Germany every chance he could, and he FDR had to recall him as ambassador. That's how bad he was. I mean, he really um, gave up hope, didn't think Britain had a chance in winning the war, and didn't seem to care if Britain won the Battle of Britain. I mean, he just didn't. Um, now, granted, John F. Kennedy cannot control what his father did um, during that time, but um, as I said, he had several extramarital affairs. Um, even though he did do so some good things for Martin Luther King, he still allowed the FBI to wiretap his, um, his phone. Nobody talks about that. Um, he was very, very reluctant to send the federal marshals to help protect James Meredith when James Meredith became the first African-American to enroll at Ole Miss. And he didn't push civil rights very much. He didn't invite Martin Luther King to his inauguration. Um, he knew if he did that, he couldn't get the Southern Democrat vote at that time. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless him. Bye-bye.